Hey everybody, welcome back to Dead Man DZ's Kanji Study Streams. We got 12 new vocabulary words from the JLPT N1 list today, and as always, if you see no vocabulary word with new kanji in it, we're going to go over the meaning of the kanji, how to write it, uh, how to remember it based on the radicals that make up the kanji, and how to pronounce it. If uh, we see a new word but it's made of kanji we already know, we're just going to write that word down three to five times and go over the meanings of each of the kanji and how they come together to make our new word. Uh, feel free to stop or flip through the lesson at your own speed. I'm going to write these down and say them out loud as I do so. If uh, you just want these word lists, head on over to Google Drive. It's been a long time since we've uh, had our last lesson. It's been about six days. Um, so we're ready to get back into it. And yeah, our first word of the day is matagaru. Matagaru is to straddle or to sit astride something, to extend over with your legs, in the case of to straddle, to spread over or to span. Matagaru. No kanji to remember here, just matagaru. Matagaru. One way I'm trying to remember this one is mata, meaning again. Matagaru. Uh, I'm trying to like put with my brain mata ashi ga aru. Like your leg is on the left side and mata garu, your leg is on the right side. Mata garu, to straddle, to sit astride. Mata garu desu. Mata garu, to straddle or sit astride. Mata garu. Mata ashi ga aru. Mata garu. Mata garu desu. Number two is mi watasu. Mi on the left side for to look or to see, and watasu on the right side to kind of ferry over or cross over. So mi watasu is to look out across, if you will. Mi watasu is to look out over or to survey, to take an extensive view across the whole of something. Mi watasu. Mi watasu is to take an overlook of something. To take an extensive view over, to view out and across. Miwatasu. Miwatasu is to look out across something. Miwatasu desu. Miwatasu. Miwatasu. Miwatasu desu. Number three is enshu. En on the left side is performance or acting, and shu on the right side is learning. So this is learning something by acting it out, aka practice or exercises and maneuvers for a thing or a practicum if it's talking about a class. Enshu is the playing out of a learning of something, playing out or practicing to learn. Enshu this, enshu. Enshu, performing it. If you knew what you were doing, Enshu. Enshu. It's practice or exercises. Practical exercises, if you will. Enshu. Enshu this. It's practice or learning via acting and pretending you know what you're doing. Enshu is exercises, practicum, or practice. Enshu this. Enshu this. Enshu is practice or exercises as practice. Number four is hon no. Hon on the left side for original in this case, and no on the right side for an ability or skill. This is your instinct, your original or abilities or skills provided to you by nature. Hon no is instinct or your original ability. Your original only ability was instinct and instinct alone. Hon no this. Only 
ability you were given at birth was instinct. Oh no, this. Oh no. Number five is chokusetsuteki. Chokusetsu on the left side for direct. Choku on the left side for... I think it just means direct. Setsu on the right side for touching. Chokusetsu is straight away... Chokusetsu is straight away touching like. Teki on the right side is a suffix kind of for like or in the manner of. So chokusetsu teki is straight and directly touching in that way. Chokusetsu teki is direct or direct. Chokusetsu teki is direct. Chokusetsu teki is direct. Number six is ki yo. Ki on the left side, I think for like a donation or a contribution. A gathering or a collecting is the closest. So gathering, collecting on ki and yo on the right side for participation. Yo. So ki yo is to participate in a collection or gathering of something. It can also mean give or reward. So giving someone your your sending or forwarding or giving someone your collection of something is a contribution or service. Kyo des. Sore wa shakai ni kyo suru no da. It will make for the society. That's a weird one. Disarmament is sure to make for peace. Gunshiku the reduction of armaments. Gunshiku wa kanarazu, not for sure. Ya heiwa ni kiyosuru. Disarmament does not necessarily contribute to peace. Kanara, oh, kanarazu, sorry. Kanarazu is for sure, not not for sure. Gunshiku wa kanarazu ya heiwa ni kiyosuru. Disarmament is sure to contribute or provide a service to peace. Heiwa ni kiyosuru, service or contribution. Collecting a gift or collecting participation in kiyo, collection of gifts is a gift collection. I guess I think that's the best literal translation. A service is a gift collection. Contribution or service is a gift gathering. Kyo is gift gathering and gift giving. Kyo is gift gathering as a service. Kyo this contribution or a service. Kyo is a contribution or a service. Kyo des. Kyo is a contribution or service. Contribution or service. Number seven is a den ryu. This one's a pretty much direct translation. This is an electric den current ryu. Den ryu is an electric current. Den ryu des. Den ryu des. Electric current. Electric 
current. Straight translation there. Number eight is Mu Kanshin. Mu on the left side is for not, and Kanshin on the right side is normally interest, and Mu Kanshin is not having an interest in, indifferent or apathetic to Mu Kanshin. Or no connection to the heart, literally translated, no connection to the spirit or mind. Mu Kanshin is apathetic. Or indifferent. Is apathetic or indifferent or without interest. This is without interest or apathetic and indifferent to Mukanshindis. Number nine is Ko Kogaku. Sorry. Ko Ko. Ko Ko Kogaku is archaeology, with Gaku on the right side being the study or learning of, and Ko on the left for old, like as in old man, and Ko in the center for like ancient ancient or old, like, um, Ko is not old. This is consider or think over. Kangaeru no Ko. Mochiran desu ne. Ko. Ko ryo no Ko. To consider or think over. The consideration or thinking over of the old things, ko ko gaku. The study of thinking over old things is archaeology. Thinking over old, the study of considering old stuff is archaeology. Ko ko gaku. The study of consideration of old stuff. Cool, cool, not good. Pretty disappointed that this word doesn't have something to do with digging up the past, but that's okay. Cool, cool, gaku is consideration of old stuff. Learning. Cool, cool, gaku. Number ten is kokaku. Koku on the left side for kind of um, letting someone know about something or like a giving a message to tell you, inform, to announce, kind of. And haku on the right side for white. So a white um, announcement or a white informment or a white telling of something is a confession or an acknowledgement. You are getting things white when they could have been black when you were lying, but now you are acknowledging and confessing. Koku haku is informing someone of the white, literally translated, but means to come clean. Koku haku. To inform of, to inform someone of the true or white nature of something. Koku haku. Confession or acknowledgement. Number eleven is moto yori. Moto on the left side for the origin and yori kind of coming from. So this is moto yori from the beginning, originally instilled, of course. Um, all kind of mean the same thing, but from the beginning is the most literal translation. Moto yori. From the beginning or from the start. Moto yori this. Moto yori. Moto yori is a adverb, I'm guessing, yeah. Moto yori this. Moto yori. Moto yori is originally or 
from the beginning. It can also mean, of course. Meaning, we knew that from the beginning. Moto yori desu. Finally, number 12 is Sazo. Surely, surely, certainly, no doubt, or indeed. Sazo desu. Sazo is surely, certainly, no doubt, or indeed. Another adverb. Uh, no kanji to remember, but this one's going to be hard to remember just because there aren't kanji. Sazo. Certainly. それだぞ。さあ。その広さだぞ。さぞ。さぞ。Surely, certainly, certainly, no doubt, or indeed, さぞです。さぞ。Surely, certainly, certainly, or indeed. Let's go back to the top. Make sure we put some good pins in our brain where all these memorizations are going to go. Make sure you're making flashcards and studying them. Make sure you're getting some immersion too if you can. Our first word of the day was to straddle or to sit astride with matagaru. Matashigaru. Matagaru. Is to straddle, to extend over, to look out over, or to, sit, or to survey is to look out across. Mi watasu. Mi watasu. Is to look out or get an extensive view of. Practice exercises and maneuvers are enshu, en on the left side for acting out, or playing, or acting, and shu on the right side for learning. So learning through play acting as if you knew what you were doing is enshu. Instinct is honno, hon on the left side for original or from the start, and no on the right side for ability or talent. Honno is instinct. Direct is chokusetsu teki. Shoku on the left side for straightforward and direct. Setsu on the, in the center for connecting and teki. On the right side for like. Chokusetsu teki kind of adjectivizes things. Uh, a contribution or a service is a ki yo. Ki on the left side for a collection. And yo on the right side for a gift. Ki yo is a contribution or a service. And electric current is pretty straightforward with den ryu. Den on the left side for electricity. And ryu on the right side for our current. Apathetic or indifference is mukansu. Mukansu. Mu. On the left side for not or un or nothingness. Kan in the center for a connector or a gateway. And shin on the right side for one's heart or mind. Archaeology is kokogaku. Ko on the left side for to think about or consider. Ko in the center for oldness from furui. And gaku on the right side for learning or studying. Ko kogaku is archaeology. A confession or an acknowledgement is a kokaku. In informing of the true nature of something, kokaku is confession. The beginning or of course coming from the beginning or from the origin is motoyori. Motoyori, our new adverb for from the beginning. And finally, certainly, surely, no doubt, or indeed is sazo. So da zo, so It's about that extent, sazo. Surely, certainly, or indeed. Thanks for watching today, everybody. Uh, make sure that you make some. Yeah, you already know. Thanks for watching. Domo, arigatou gozaimashita.